In this module, we'll review the performance management tools in the dashboard system in detail. This performance management dashboard screen is the namesake of the system and is one of the main elements of the performance management functionality. The dashboard shows a real-time snapshot of the performance of the entire organization or any subset of the organization. In the system, all goals, objectives, and activities are flagged for status with a red, yellow, green, or gold traffic light. In the top left corner of the screen, the traffic light will display the summary of goals, objectives, or activities which are selected by the buttons to its left. There are 10 activities in the green status. Green indicates that the planning element is on track for successful completion. Typically, no changes are needed. Yellow indicates that there's a potential issue looming. It may be that a key resource is leaving the organization, or the grant funding may be lost, or one of the key partners may not be able to fulfill their responsibilities. Red indicates that the successful completion of the planning element is in serious jeopardy. Perhaps a key resource is left, or funding is dried up, or a partner is no longer available. There are 11 activities in gold status. The gold bar indicates a successfully completed planning element. These planning elements are tracked because they may become models for best practices in the future. Everything on this screen is clickable. To get more detail on any specific planning element, you can click on the bulb or the gold bar to see a list of those items. You can just click on the back arrow to get back to the dashboard screen. In the default view, the traffic light represents only the status of the planning elements in the selected group. The selected organization and group are indicated in the box to the top right of the traffic light. The initial group displayed here is the default group for the logged in user. The WIC director would probably see WIC here. The emergency preparedness director would see FEP here. The show subgroups button allows you to see the summary of all the groups below the selected group. If the selected group is the top level group in the organization, typically the department, selecting show subgroups will show the status of the entire organization. The bottom half of the screen represents the breakout of the status of goals, objectives, or activities for the selected team leader, group, or strategic priority. The last updated column shows the last time the information was updated for the selected team leader. This column is color coded. Green indicates less than 30 days ago. Yellow indicates between 30 and 60 days ago, and red indicates over 60 days ago. This color coding is also common to most of the planning elements on this dashboard screen. The FTE column shows the summary of the full-time equivalent activities for the team leader. Each activity in the system can be assigned a team leader, and an FTE value can be assigned to the portion of the team leader's time that will be spent on the selected activity. The FTEs for all of the team leader's assigned activities is summarized here. This can be very useful for you in workforce development activities. Ideally, each leader should have an FTE value between 0.9 and 1.0. When you see people over 1.0 FTE, it may be time to consider adding additional resources to avoid potential burnout and losing employees. The number lagging column indicates how many activities are behind schedule. The system calculates this value using the start date, end date, and percent complete for the activities assigned to the team leader. As an example, if an activity is halfway through its time frame, but less than 50% complete, it will show up in the lagging field. The same color code scheme is used here. The days lagging column shows the average days ahead of or behind schedule for all of the selected leaders assigned activities. The overdue column shows how many activities assigned to the team leader are currently overdue. Overdue means that the end date is passed and the activity is not yet 100% complete. The red, yellow, green, and gold traffic light columns are the same as those in the status summary traffic light at the top left corner, but for the specific team leader. You can click on any item in the row to drill down to the details. You can always click on the back arrow to get back to the dashboard screen. To change the view from leaders to groups to strategic priorities, click here. Groups are selected from the default group for the logged in user. You can select any group for which you've been granted permission from the Groups tab. Strategic priorities are selected from those planning elements categorized to the strategic priorities from your strategic plan for your organization. Categorization will be covered in a later module. 
The top right corner of the screen is the My Priorities quadrant. This feature allows logged in users to track any selected objectives in real time. Each individual logged in user can select their own objectives to fill the My Priorities section. Rolling your mouse over the objective will display the Group, Service, Goal, and Objective for context. Rolling your mouse over the stoplight will display the meaning of each color. Rolling your mouse over the Notes field will display the full note if the field is longer than the display. Clicking on a key issue will take you to the objective screen where you can get the detail on that specific objective. These objectives can easily be selected and deselected from the objective screen just by clicking on the green flag and then clicking the back arrow to get back to the dashboard screen you'll see that that objective is no longer on the My Priorities quadrant. The next performance management feature is performance charting. The time-based performance of any objective or activity can be displayed on a chart. To get to a performance chart select an objective or activity to chart and then click on the chart button. For reference, the objective or activity description is displayed at the bottom of the screen. This screen shows the performance of a project-based or quantitative measurement type activity. There are several controls at the top of the screen to help you fine-tune the chart. You can set the date range for this chart. The default values are the first and last dates for the data in this chart. The time frame drop-down allows you to select the spread of data points to be charted from raw, which includes all data points, to years, which shows a single data point for each calendar year in the data set. You can also select whether you'd like to see the last data point in the given time frame or the average of the data points in the time frame. You can also select whether you want to display the percentage complete or the actual values for the item. Percent is the default. The vertical scale defaults to 100% for percentage displays. You can select Auto to have the system calculate the vertical scale. Auto sets the scale from 0 to the maximum number plus 10 percent. This is typically used when the data point is greater than 100 percent. All value-based charts are displayed with auto. You can use the print button to print or save the active chart and the objective or activity detail. This chart represents the performance for quality assurance type activities. The controls in the upper left corner are the same as the previous chart. The green line indicates the green value for the QA activity. The red line represents the red value. The area between the red and green lines represent the yellow zone. The blue line represents the actual data points for this activity. The third performance management feature is the automated reminder email system. The system can provide automated email notifications to each person in the system who has been assigned as a team leader for any activities. The messages can be configured to be sent anywhere from daily to monthly. Messages can be triggered for lagging and or overdue activities as well as if the person has not updated their information in the system in the last 30 days. This email reminds team leaders to update their information in the system on a regular basis, keeping the information current. Thanks for reviewing the Performance Management Dashboard. In the next module, we'll review the Partner Management features in the dashboard.